me today. This is Candace with Life Flow. And today we just want to attack a topic that I think we can all pretty much relate to. And that's waiting on the Lord. That could be anything. Waiting for a dream, waiting for a vision, waiting for a promise, just waiting, waiting, waiting. So many times we get bogged down with waiting. And that is not something that we can get past. So we want to make sure that we're in the place that we're supposed to be and just having patience in where we are, accepting where we are and knowing that that will change. I know I like to dive right in because I like to dissect it right away. And I want you to understand that whatever you're going through or whatever your struggles are, you're not alone. Like there's half a billion people that are going through the same thing. So when it comes to God's timing, you know, so many different verses, again, in the Bible, we have instruction. That, that's why it's there. That's why we have it. It, it. It's our roadmap to life. It's our answers, and it holds questions that we would never even think of asking. In particular, when it comes to waiting on a dream or waiting on a vision or waiting on the Lord, you don't want to push too soon. And what do I mean by that? If we were to take birth, and take it through the stages of labor. You have the early labor, you have active labor, and then you have actually have the birth process. Well, the early labor is the part where we all get excited and we have so much gusto and we're just ready to go because we have an idea and we know that we heard from God or it's something that we grew with and we just, we're so ready. And then we go through the active labor, which that's the part where it starts to bruise a little and it starts to hurt and the waiting just gets so impatient and that's the part where we just want to push push and do our own thing we want to make sure that we're in control we're, we're at this point we're not so much waiting on God we're like okay God let, let me just help you out a little bit let me just make that phone call let me just go over there and see what's going on let me just peek in that's the place where we have to be careful to wait. That is a place where we have to be careful not to take things into our hands because that's where the bruising comes in and that's where the pain is and that's where you're like, oh my gosh, is this gonna happen? It's not happening fast enough. Let me just help it along. But then comes the birth and the birth is your victory. That's a place that the dream is pushed out the vision is coming to fruition and you can actually see what's going on. You can, everywhere you go, you see like, okay, I thought about that. That's my vision. That's my promise. That place of birth is when it's too late that you have to push. You're too late now. You, you can't turn back. You can't look back because if you look back, you might abort your promise. You might abort your vision you might abort God's plan. So you want to be careful at that stage to just keep on pushing no matter how the pain is. And that's the way that we have to go through life. It's painful, it's not easy, but you cannot give up. You can't get to the finish line and say, I'm going to turn around now because I just can't go anymore. You can't do that. Wait on God. Wait on his promises. Have faith to know that it's going to come to pass. You know, the mo one of the most favorite of mine actual verses is Isaiah, and I think a lot of people can attest to that. And that's Isaiah 40 and 31. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength, and they shall mount up on wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. That means God will renew your strength in your waiting. He'll give you the provision in your waiting. He'll give you the strength in your waiting. So what you have to do, keep on waiting. Keep on believing. Don't push too soon. You don't want a premature vision or a premature birth. I love you. Stay tuned for the next show. Be blessed. I'll see you soon. Thank you for joining me again with Candace at Life Flow.